Right now we are at the Okanichi Speedway. There you go, you nailed it. Crushed first it. First try. <laughs> this was one of the very <laughs> first racetracks on the NASCAR circuit. It yep. was in the, we got runners. We got runners. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> They're speeding. <laughs> sadly, they are going the wrong direction on a NASCAR track. Yes. We're supposed to be going that way. Mm -hmm. And actually we're standing on what used to be the racetrack. It was one of the yeah. only dirt tracks in the circuit. And it ran the, the first season. I think it was the third race of the first season. And they ran several years here until in the, in the, 60s, the right? late 60s. Yeah. It's crazy because we're super NASCAR fans, yeah. big NASCAR fans. But it's crazy to hear the names of the people who raced here, who won here. <laughs> Fireball Roberts, Junior Johnson, Lee Petty, Richard Petty. Richard Petty won the last race that was ran yeah. here. And actually, this track right here was, um, was the motivation of the track that was in the movie Cars. You know, remember the old car was going, showing him how to how to race dirt around the, the dirt racetrack. This was the inspiration. This track was the inspiration for that. Scene Are you making movie. that up or is it no, real? No, that's real. Okay. I can never tell. Sorry. <laughs> We're on the front stretch of the Okanichi Raceway, <laughs> and there's an old car out here. We're trying to figure out whose it was, but can't really figure yeah. out whose it was. Number 72. So if you want to look that up and see who drove the number 72 back in 19, between 1948 and 1968, that's when the raceway was open. Uh, so it's Okanichi. I'm going to say Orange Speedway because the name was changed to Orange, Orange Speedway, Speedway at one time. So I'm just going to keep saying Orange Speedway from now on because it's a lot easier than the Okanichi. But, but this is works. really cool. There's grandstands over here. Mm -hmm. It's cool to see the, the concrete grandstands and the flag stand. Um, so it was just it's just really cool to be in a place where NASCAR history. Yeah, try was to made. envision what it looks like in its heyday, and yeah. it's really hard. <laughs> it is hard, and and because the grandstands are only right across from the flag stand, I really wonder how much of the racetrack you could see. see during a race yeah no, that's not I, not much I it's can't not like imagine. today's grandstands there's not grandstands anywhere else just on the front stretch but, yeah and there's not very many seats no i'm kind of curious as to how much it would cost to get into a nascar race in 1948 yeah. that's a it was the first first year so yeah hard to tell but anyway this segment of the video is brought to you by the number 72 <laughs> because that's the number on the race car <laughs> So where we're at now is up by the grandstands and it looks like it would have been some type of a concession stand and maybe a press box up top because it is the highest point of the of the speedway so if you were a reporter that would be the best vantage point even though it's still not a great vantage point uh, you probably call the race from coming out of turn four into turn one and then just kind of pick them back up when they come around turn four again and, <laughs> and start reporting from there because you really don't know what's going on on the back stretch <laughs> there's a picture of what it actually looked like in its in its heyday when they actually raced here so you can see there's no pine trees out in the middle it's all wide open so all those pine trees have grown in and then this is what the banking in the back so it's a little wider than it was now or it's a little wider then than it is now and um, on here is a list of all the drivers who have driven here all the drivers who have won here it has a list of how much they won and it also has a list of how many people were in attendance during those races so this is pretty cool um, this is really neat to see how to many see people were stats. here yeah how much they won see pictures of it back in its yeah. heyday and there's some other people that we didn't mention uh let's see here who else was on here um buck baker was here 
Uh, we think we mentioned Junior Johnson, David Pearson raced here, Ned Jarrett raced Ned here. Ned Jarrett won a couple uh, times. Yeah, Lee Petty um, won here a couple times. Fireball Roberts won here. Tim Flock won here. Um, and the last race was on September 15th, 1968. Yeah. And the King, Richard Petty, yeah. won that race. So the final race <laughs> ran here. Richard Petty won $1,600 in prize money that day. And there were 6,700 fans in attendance. <laughs> so crazy comparing it to NASCAR now. Yeah. It's so crazy. <laughs> well, now we're at the Homeland Creamery. Yes. It's a dairy farm. Huh. And Michael's <laughs> jumping in the back right here. <laughs> it's a dairy farm where they uh, have dairy cows and they make their own ice cream. And you can come out here and get some very fresh homemade ice cream from the farm. Yeah. Shelly just brought us our ice cream. <laughs> so we're ready to eat. Cow to table. Cow to table, fresh. <laughs> I got the regular chocolate. What you got? Double dark chocolate. <laughs> We're very original. Chocolate peach. and dark chocolate. Shelly got peach. What you got? Cake batter. Oh, oh cake batter. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was expecting like the vanilla. Yeah. It looks like vanilla, but it's cake batter. So this is the <laughs> fresh ice cream from the from the creamery, and um, I wish you could taste this with us. Mm -hmm. It was very good. Look at camp. <laughs> so we're going to go and eat. This is really cool. This is, uh, even though it's it's closed today, mm -hmm. so you can't really walk around the whole area, but this field is open, and so this monument marks the place where the very first battle of the Revolutionary War yes. took place in the United States. So, lots of history right here. It's yeah. out in the middle of nowhere, nowhere. North Carolina, but yeah. it's really cool, part of, of history, and I uh, wish we could see all everything, yeah. but it's cool to be on this spot and to be able to actually take pictures and, and see the battlefield where the the very first battle took place. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. It talks about um, James Hunter. He was the general for the regulators. Yeah. Um, didn't fare so well for no. General Hunter. No, I sure didn't. We'll show you that. <laughs> Well, we're over here hanging out with uh, Michael and Shelly from our Epic RV Adventure. We're camped right across from the road from them. But I want to share with you real quick. Uh, last night we went to visit friends, old army buddy, and uh, we were parked at a restaurant and the truck got hit. Uh, so we didn't know how extensive the damage was at, at first right there on site. And the lady was really like, uh, she was trying to get out of there, to be honest with you. Uh, the, our waitress actually, we were sitting outside and our waitress jumped out and, uh, and stopped her from pulling out of the out of the parking lot but uh, more way more damage to her vehicle i don't have any footage of that but way more damage to her vehicle than it is to ours the little scuffs i'll show you the dents on the uh, on the back of the truck real fast but it doesn't look like it's super super bad stuff maybe the backup sensors but that's really the biggest thing that we're concerned about so you can see here that's where she backed in um these are these are just marks i mean there it's not actually dented in or or stuck in but just really mostly concerned about this sensor in particular which is a backup sensor and this one looks like it it, it came away unscathed um, there was a piece of plastic laying up here that belonged to the to the lady from the car that hit us but um, i've looked underneath up here in the brackets and all the wiring and it seems to all be intact so it doesn't seem that bad um it's all it's all part of the the deal stuff goes on when you're out on the road the really the biggest thing is going to be the inconvenience of the whole deal because we're going to have to go call the insurance company and we're going to have to get an estimate and submit it to the insurance company and then they're going to have to order the bumper if if anything has to be replaced they'll have to order it we'll have to probably have that sent to the next you know couple places ahead of where we're going to be because we will move 
once a week or sometimes every two weeks so we kind of have to plan where those replacement parts are going to get sent to and installed and it's our only vehicle because when we detach from the fifth wheel we don't have a vehicle so it's really just more of an inconvenience thing for us it's going to be a monetary thing for the young lady that hit us so uh, but at least no one was hurt everything's good uh, they did a field sobriety test on her because we were at the bar um, but she uh, passed that and so the waitress said that, that she left the bar looking pretty angry like kicked the door open and jumped into the car so maybe she was angry so lesson to be learned don't drive angry <laughs> like you heard on groundhog day the movie don't drive angry well it's been an amazing week that word doesn't even do it justice i'd say epic i yeah. mean yeah it's been, <laughs> it's been epic and it really has been our favorite week on the road so far and normally at the end of the video i always ask leslie what her favorite part was and if we have other people on ask them what their favorite part was but, but i kind of already know it's obvious it's giving away over ten thousand dollars to vets to vets united was definitely the highlight of the week for everyone mm -hmm. but uh, it didn't stop there we had fun the rest of the time unfortunately jerry and Teresa had to skate back to oregon a little early uh, but we have had a great time here with you guys hanging out and we spent almost every moment together <laughs> since we pulled in they're probably and sick of us now we're getting <laughs> ready much. now we're getting ready to pull out but it's not goodbye it's See you later. Yeah. And that's coming to a YouTube channel near you. Yeah. Not even really so, see you later. Yeah. See you in a little while. See you in a little while. <laughs> see, you in a, yeah. see you in a few. <laughs> so it's going to be really, really soon. And you guys got some great, cool stuff coming up. Exciting stuff. Yeah. What do you guys got coming up? Hopefully, a, a yeah, hopefully a video gonna... showing us. I'm closing on I'm closing on the sale of our house. Right. Yeah. Um, but we got to get it. it. We got to get it listed first. Yeah. yeah. Baby steps. Baby yeah. steps. <laughs> So yeah, it's just been it's been awesome hanging out with Michael and Shelley from mm -hmm. our Epic RV Adventure. Uh, if you haven't looked at their channel, please go and do so. We'll leave a link in the description below. And um, again, like I said, amazing doesn't come close to describing the, this week. Yep. It's just been um, one of my favorite weeks of my entire life. And um, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs>